All right, here's a quick little demo of the container ship that I built. Yeah, I'd say it's about 95% complete, only because I gotta create a cover for this top electrical box here. And I gotta install a bunch of LEDs inside this, uh, I guess, tower. But here's a quick little demo. Let me go over everything I've done here. Here's the fire cannon. I soldered together out of brass tubing. And um, here's a little, the little, uh, what do you call it? The rail system that I that I soldered together together as well. Over here, here's a little water pump. You can't really see it because it's kind of dark, but it's a it's a pretty decent sized water pump that pumps about two and a half gallons per minute, and it's going to shoot it out this fire can. Fire can is just enough to squirt the ducks at the park. All right, here's the electrical box. You could totally enclose it in, and um, here you got a bunch of electrical garbage. All right, what we have here is two motors, water cooled. Um, and here, where's that at? There's a, this is a small little relay. Uh, I'm sure you don't know what it probably does. I just figured this out along the way. It could switch. It switches that water pump on, and it turns on these LEDs. I got some pole lights here going on. They're LEDs, three pole lights. Um, at the same time, I got a water water pump. It, it it's drilled straight to the bottom of the boat. It sucks water out. It circulates through both of these motors, and it spits it out on the side through this water spout right here on both sides. Um, that's about it. Let me kind of show a quick little demo of how it works. There's the front of the boat. And I'm expecting this thing to shoot about at least eight feet, eight to ten feet out. Uh, it, it was like I'd say about a half inch diameter and I narrowed down the hole to about a quarter inch with this brass tubing. Alright, let me go to the back of the boat. Hang on. All right, here we got the rudder system. Let me let me kind of demonstrate it here. It's dual prope dual propellers, so you can hear me turn both of them on at the same time. And then the rudders too. They're very they're very smooth. Let me kind of take this tower off so you can see what I did here and how it actually works. You can see the detail of this. <laughs> kind of looks like crap, but uh, it works. All right, this wire is for all the LEDs that's going to go inside the tower. Oops, kind of spoiled it there. But this how here's the servo. There's the, the little arms that turn the rod that goes down, and they both turn at the same time. Alright, now with a flip of a switch, all these LEDs are going to turn on all at the same time. Not all, not all the LEDs are on the boat yet, but I got three uh, pole lights, so here it goes. The water pump and the LEDs turn on at the same time, but I could adjust that by these two connectors. One says LED, the other one says pump. As long as one is connected, when I flip the switch, they will turn on. If the other one's not connected, the other one will not turn on. So I could choose to run both the LEDs on the boat and the water pump and squirt ducts at the same time, or I could just simply unplug the pump and just run the LEDs at night time. But in a nutshell, there's the boat. Let's recap, there's the rudders. It's almost done, like I mentioned. Almost looks like real container ship. <laughs> this back on oh and by the way oh now you can see there's there's the water pump now that the LEDs are on shining on it here's kind of a panoramic view of the boat and it's a pretty big hole that it sucks water from I don't know if you can see it's kind of dark you really can't see it's that black dot right there that's where it sucks all the water into the into the pump and spits it out this can and really it's pretty it's pretty powerful. I ran into the sink. Anyways, that's it for now. And uh, there's the boat. About 90% done.